Okay, howdy, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday. Happy Cataclysm Day. More Cataclysm. Not that seven days to die stuff. Cataclysm. You know, the real game. So, here we are with Min Max. Min Max the first, our medical resident. Still tooling around the Cataclysm. Doing his thing. Um, what were we doing? We were... We were... Oh, that's right. Black, black rectangle. Ah! Black rectangle alert. Goodbye, black rectangle. <laughs> Keep forgetting about the black rectangle of death. Sucks you right in. Uh, oh yeah, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, what were we doing? Uh, I believe we had settled in here, this little cabin, to uh, get a few things done. I needed rags, so we uh, we grabbed some we grabbed some stuff. We grabbed some curtains and made some rags, and then we finished up some uh, some much needed gear. We got our most of our flame resistant suit done. We got most all of our uh, light survivor suit done, I believe. Yeah, it looks like it's all done. So we got our pads, our survivor gear, all light gear, our army helmet to protect our brain case. Uh, our mono blade is still going to be our primary melee weapon. We've got an RM88 battle rifle from RivTech with not a lot of bullets, but uh, I only use it in emergencies, so that's fine. Um, trying to remember what else we were looking for. We got my beloved Halligan bar. We got the scalpel. We've got the survivor telescope for the, the odd tools that I always try to go get. We're still rocking the full-on toolbox. Be nice to get rid of that, but we failed the uh, the CBM for it. So we get another one. We'll uh, we'll give it a try then. We got light amp goggles last episode. We got our gas mask. Look, what? What? <laughs> they broke my gas mask again. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> what the hell? It was broke. Then it was working. Now it's broke again. Uh. Wait, no, wait. I have my mask. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. No, it's working. It's working. See, 99 out of 100. I just forgot I, uh, I ripped the gas cartridge out to put it over here into that one. <laughs> False alarm. False alarm. Just me getting overexcited and not remembering what we did on Monday. Consequence of me doing this Monday-Friday thing is the Monday to Friday gap is a little large, and I tend to forget exactly what was going on. And I refuse to go watch an eight-hour stream to remind myself what I was doing. Uh, okay, so, yeah, there we go. There's Min Max's gear. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, there's not too many more things I'm going to be adding to this. Uh, there are some things that I'd like to go track down. Uh, the intent with Min Max here is to, uh, to max them out, and we've done that pretty much in two, two episodes. We're on, what, the third one now. So in two episodes, we've basically maxed out our skills... All the ones that I care about for crafting, that is. Um, we got a few pretty good CBMs in, but more on the way. Uh, our encumbrance is in really good shape. And even with this gear, we're looking at uh, 7.0 dodge. And I believe it jumps almost to 9 when I shrug off the backpack. Uh, so that's also really good. We're still going to take hits. We're not protected enough to keep all any of the damage or all the damage, even from regular zombies, coming through. But a significant amount of it will be blocked. Um, which is fine, which is fine. We're going to rely on dodge quite a bit, especially if we do manage to track down the martial art that I'm looking for. We're still on the search for Zui Kwan. I can't seem to find any good size... Yeah, yeah, I can't seem to find any good size cities on uh, on this map. We've, we've got a map of the area, and they're all fairly small cities. We're quite a ways in every direction. Um, so yeah, I need recycling centers is what I mostly need, and you don't find a lot of those per city usually. One or two if you're lucky, and um, that's the most likely place for me to get that book. If you're not aware, recycling centers have, I would say, about a 75% chance to give you that martial arts book. So, if you're feeling lucky and you want to play one of those martial artists, just don't take it during character gen. Just uh, build your character out, save those points, and uh, go grab one from Recycling Center. It's silly. I think it's totally silly. I don't know why it's still that way. What the hell? <laughs> I've just moved my map around and I'm getting loaded bad tur, huh? Bad tur exclamation point. Well, you're you're a bad tur exclamation point. Do do do. do. Yeah. So we got a few cities off to the northwest west here. 
Uh, we're currently trundling our way up north. We're trying to see if this connects up to this road network city area up north. Um, I would still like to actually... I, I fi figured out another reason why I would actually like to go to a hunting supply store. I want to see if... I, I can't remember. Do they have bear traps? I remember I used to get bear traps somewhere, but I cannot for life me remember where I commonly got bear traps. I want to say it's the hunting supply store. That seems like it would make the most sense. Because I want to, uh, I want to break the dodge system and get myself my 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 eleven or twelve dodge, so I can have like twenty effective dodge. Because we're we're min maxing, so yeah, we'll see what we can do. But we got a few things we got to do while we're here. So there's the character sheet. That uh, is uh, behold the glory of min max so far at least. Um, so like I mentioned, crafting we've got just a couple of books to finish reading. We got one last tailoring level, the only one I care about. Fab is as high as I need it to be. We got to finish electronics to eight, and we got the books for that. And we need to finish computers to eight, and first aid we've already got. So yeah, just a couple books to read real quick, and then we will hit the road. I know there is a problem apparently with uh, trying to refill gas tanks, so. This is our limit. <laughs> I believe I am not going to be able to refill the gas tank. Uh, and I don't think there's a way for me to cheat my way around it. So, where's the 11 melee, 11 unarmed? Uh, eh, 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 I, maybe? <laughs> I, 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 in this build? Eh, maybe? <laughs> we'll see. I don't have any particular goal in mind. We're just going to roam around the area and see uh, what kind of mischief we can get up to that I normally just go around and avoid. So if we can get ourselves burfed up, yes, burfed, burfed up pretty gnarly, we're going to uh, try to go into some of the places I usually just, just wave at and drive on by. Um, so we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'd like to visit some things that I don't normally visit in this particular build or this, this challenge. All right, we're tired, but we're not dead tired. So, what time is it? 11.30, we got lots of daylight. Let's go ahead and read us a electronics. So, that is 21 versus 21, but this takes me to six, and they're both minus one. Yeah, this is the, this is the one, this is the choice. So, this won't take too long, I don't think. I'm going to have to crouch, so... <laughs> yes, yeah, stop. Now crouch. There. God dang it. <laughs> okay, stop crouching. Go monoblade him to death. Punk damn zombie, I'm trying to read here. See, I'm, I'm engaged in intellectual pursuits. Alright. While we read, I will check chat. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Hello. Uh, did I miss any important questions, or was everybody just doing the hello? Hey there, Billy Shark. Yep, everything's fine. I've got uh, cookies for Zombie Dog, so he has not yet turned feral on me. We're fine as long as the cookies last. Just found you on YouTube the other day and watching your Puff the Asthmatic Magic Dragon playthrough. <laughs> I remember that one. Uh, there's been quite a few. <laughs> People ask me a lot, what's your favorite and what do, you, what do you remember about this one? It's like, I remember absolutely very, very little about any of them at this point. Once you pass three or four thousand hours of gameplay, uh, they, they blend really, really bad. So, some of them I remember fairly well, though. Asthma Puff the Asthmatic Magic Dragon was a fun one. So, hello, Kevlar, hello. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying the challenge. Did we finish? Oh, we finished. Do, 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 do. Next level. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. So as usual, while I'm doing reading of this other stuff, I got nothing to do. So if anybody has questions about the game, the gameplay, all you new players, this is an opportunity to uh, to ask questions if you'd like. Uh, what is that? I I I have what? Difficult for you to see. 
Reading? What? Oh, it's dark. We got the full moon bonus going on, do we? <laughs> We're reading by the full moon while I'm huddled inside my, my, my battle Humvee. Uh, but I'm still not dead tired yet. Alright, I'll just step over here and activate the... Uh... No, that's not what I wanted. What the hell? There we go. <laughs> I was... ah! Still picking the wrong one. Alright, dome lights. That's what I'm looking for. Back to reading. Love the font tutorial or other changes you would recommend? Uh, eh, there probably are, but not knowing what you're using makes it hard for me to make recommendations. There are other things that I change, um, but I haven't messed with them in so long that it, I, it, it's hard for me to just to bring it to memory. If I fiddle with them fairly often, I would know, I would remember, but um, I've been using these settings and carrying them over for so long that it's been a long time since I actually had to adjust anything, and I forgot what I adjusted. Yeah, stop reading now. Uh, let's turn off the dome lights and wear our blindfold. And have a nice drink of water, or five. And some cheese. And a Marlos Berry, 347 calories. Good stuff. Uh, let's wait a little bit. Let our stomach settle a tiny amount. There we go. Yep, I'm sure. Sleepy sleep. Uh, how does mine differ from yours? I use a, the settings I recommend, and what you see is. A little larger a font than I would normally probably use for my own gameplay, but I have to consider and accommodate folks that watch my content on phones and uh, uh, tablets and such with smaller screens. So I use a slightly larger font than some people might prefer um, for clarity and legibility for folks using the smaller screens, and I'm just used to it. But... Um, yeah, I, I I don't remember what else I change. I I do change some of the things on the HUD. I have my HUD set up a certain way. Um, did you come across a ghost house in the woods? Uh, yeah. there's I I'm not sure what you're asking there. <laughs> there is a house that is uh, what's it called? I forget the name of it. Um, there's an acolyte house. Uh. Uh, like a, a demon worshipping house. It's got some little fun extras in the basement area. It's the only one I can think of. Alright, take off. Uh, off the blindfold. Have some toastums, a chocolate bar, coffee covered, re co chocolate covered coffee bean, and a fruit leather. And a drink or two. Two. Back to reading. Yeah, you don't often come across that house. It's, uh, I can't remember the last time I came across it during a live stream. Uh, nope, that's not what I was trying to do. Yeah, the usual issue, I, I eh, the probably one I get the most is how do I get more lines of text in my log over here on the right-hand side? And, uh, oops. So you can mess with your, your sidebar options. I use the classic. I, I've never been able to move myself away from the classic. I don't know why they made compact the default when they made this change. But um, I always set mine to classic, turn off armor and AI needs because I find them useless. Um... And I think I moved something around in the interface. I, I, I don't know what I moved, if I did at some point. Uh, but other than that, and then uh, if you need more text in your, your log over here, just understand that your mini-map and the log share space. So if you use capital N to turn off the 
the mini map, you can see your log expands down into that space. Well, that means if you change the size of your mini map, you'll free up some more space for lines of chat in your log. So if you go to the options screen, uh, I think it's. So, over map. Nope, not the fonts. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, it's been a while since I looked at this one, too. Pixel minimap height. That's the one. So you just come in here and you fiddle with this number until you get a ratio that is pleasing to whatever settings you're using. So you have uh, enough lines of text combined with a large enough map. But uh, that's the way you adjust this section and how much you give to each one of these is this pixel minimap height option. That's pretty much it. That's the only things I remember changing. Uh, kind of an odder one that I change is I change... I think this one's the interface. Um, <laughs> I always use numbers for my aim window style. So I see numbers instead of bars for my hit percentages on uh, firing guns and bows and stuff. And then I also do the message log flow top. I like to have my new messages at the top of the flow instead of the bottom of the flow. So it's just easier for my brain to know that this is new info at the top than having to scroll my eyes down through to, to see things. I think that's it. I think that's the only things I've, I've adjusted. Okay, demo that book. Two more levels. Are we hungry? We're hungry. Biscuits and some protein and a drink. Alright, we're just gonna get this reading out of the way so we, we're, we're, we're done. You can all. Oh, wrong book. Uh, that book. What are your thoughts on the graphical overmap? I can't wrap my brain around it. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would want to use it. It has less information than the current one does. I, yeah, I mean, if you like it, great, go for it. But um, I, I don't get why people. I, I guess for people that haven't been using the old map for an extended period of time, maybe it looks better. I can understand that, but from an informational density standpoint, it's a several step back. The icons look pretty. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the deciding factor for lots of folks. I don't agree with it personally. I have no problem if people want to use it. Just don't ask me to look at it. Variety is good, though. If it works and people like it, I'm glad it's there for them. I just hope and pray they don't move to that as the default. <laughs> that, would, that would annoy me. I might have to have some words in some places with some people if they ever try to make it the default without it at least being on par or having information parity with the current one a really simple example if you're not sure what I'm referring to is and if I'm wrong about this let me know I've only briefly glanced at the uh, the graphical overmap screenshots I've never actually tried to install it and use it but um in the current map, when I go look at a location, a city, many of the buildings, not all of them, but many of the buildings, you can tell where the front entrance is by the way the, the, the thing is pointed. So think of this as an arrow. The front is towards the street, of course. But there are some circumstances where you can't tell based on where they're at in, in relation to the street where the front entrance is actually going to be, like at an intersection here. I know this bar... The front is on this side of the street, not on this side of the street. Sounds minor, right up until you really, really, really need to get inside some kind of an entrance. <laughs> and you don't know from looking at the uh, the map. So that's the kind of information I mean. When you've got a graphical font, there's no way... F uh, uh, do they turn the font? Is the font turned a certain direction to indicate uh, uh, the front of a building? Maybe it is set up that way. I've never really looked that close, though. So. Somebody knows and uses the graphical overmap, well, let me know. I might uh, take a l new look if it does have information parity, but um, from the brief looks I've taken, I, I didn't seem like that was the case. 
And I've got just too much, too many hours of my eyes and brain looking at this map style to uh, convert to a totally different map style. I would, I would probably go schizophrenic if I tried. Alright, we finished another level. Yes, we did. Have some more food. Your reward for finishing another level of uh, high-end electronics. Uh, doctorate level electronics work is some wheat cereal and a toastum. Congratulations on completing another degree. Uh, the, the question isn't have you ever had a problem with it? Is the quest the question is can you tell where the entrances are just by looking at the graphics map? I don't care if you've ever had a problem with the situation. <laughs> I just want to know does the graphical overmap actually provide you that information or not? I don't know offhand either. So, like I said, I, I could be wrong because I don't have experience with the map. I have no no desire to use the graphical overmap. And I'm not curious enough to go look. So, folks that do have experience with it, feel free to correct me if I am uh, a raving madman with uh, no comprehension. Uh, yeah, I would like to sleep now, thank you. Alright, back to the blindfold. Let's have, oh, fruit leather, another protein... You are correct, Vorm. It does not. Well, I wasn't sure if that they, uh, they rotated the the icon or something. So, good to know. There could be other differences. That's the one that just popped into my head immediately. I have had many, many circumstances where knowing which side of a building had an entrance by looking at the map actually changed the behavior I had and my decision making in game. Um, so losing an information set like that never sits well with me. <clears throat> but it looks kind of nice. Okay, uh, we woke up again, did we? We did. Have some more old biscuits. Uh, we better have two old biscuits this time. Starting to get a little lean on my, uh, my, my food. A little lean. We might have to actually move before we finish. That'll be sad making. I wanted to get this done. All right, finish this level up. I think you can push electronics to, what, 10 now from books? So if I really, really want to be a min-max, <laughs> I'm apparently going to have to push this to 10 because it uh, will come into play as uh, benefits for uh, CBM installation. Hello, Fertile Creek. And I don't have the book that... Uh, oh, I do have it. I, I do have robots for fun and profit. Ugh, that means we're going to have to move before I finish up because I'm not going to get two levels, four levels between these two. Eh, maybe I can do it. But I don't like pushing my food level that low. Now you missed a riveting discussion about uh, what changes I make in my, 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 my game settings for, for clarity and such, and another conversation about the graphical overmap mod. I guess it's a mod. It's not the standard, so I, can I call it the mod? I think it's a mod. That's about it. Other than that, we just read some books, and I, I you know, I spouted the usual drivel that I spout. Um, let's do computers. I want to make sure I get my computers eight. It's in the mod folder, so yeah, it's a mod. 
Well, there we go. That's pretty definitive. <laughs> So what kind of things are you guys hoping that I accomplish in this run? The idea is to get as stupid powerful in as many in-game, non-debug menu, cheaty ways as possible, and then go kill big stuff that I don't usually go deal with. What things do I usually just drive right past that makes you guys crazy? Go, it makes you go, damn it, Vorm! This time I wanted to go do that thing. <laughs> when I do it, could be an issue, but I, I don't want to pass up opportunities like that. So, oops. We are not doing any mutations this run. I just finished up a mutation heavy challenge. I'm not interested in doing another one of those right now. We're going straight, uh, just standard character upgrades through gear and bionics. <clears throat> I want you to have to explore every lab. Well, that word every is a little concerning given the um, effectively unlimited <laughs> game world that we have to be able to drive around in. Limited only by the size of my hard drive. <clears throat> Got an entire Mego camp? That wouldn't be too hard. Mego camp's pretty easy. You just open the front door, run back outside, hop into your battle Hummer, and uh, open up with a 50 cal. <clears throat> Hydrate first, form. Fill your belly with water, and then have your, your cheese and your wheat cereal. Either oafs a lot. Artifacts? I haven't seen artifacts in forever. I I can't remember the last time. Who has recently, who that is playing on the current experimental builds as they progress, has recently seen an artifact on the ground in the field? You know how they used to just be in a, like an impact crater, just on the ground in the field? I haven't seen one of those random ones in forever. And I mean, I drive around some of these challenges a lot, as I'm sure you guys know. So I haven't seen the random artifacts in forever. And the only other place I know to go to them directly is the uh, the Strange Temple. So if we get a uh, Thermal Dissipation CBM, we can go to the Strange Temple. I'm not going there without the Thermal Dissipation CBM. Because it's, it's just silly otherwise. But... Um, yeah, Strange Temples are the only place I know of for sure to go to go get them. Um, even mines don't really have random artifacts, do they? I don't. I, is is one of the mine finales random artifacts? Eh, I think one of the mine finales might have some. It's been a while since I've really we we hit one mine earlier, but it was just the uh, the, uh, the the key for the Strange Temple. Wait, wait. <laughs> I keep leaving the dome light on. Well, the solar panels are offsetting the dome light, so. But if I take anything, everything off, I won't have a pocket in which to insert my my two artifacts. <laughs> does does my flame resistant gear have pockets? Okay, Sirsha, I want uh, I want a mod, or I want the game changed now so that uh, I can have an artifact in each hand. I want a right hand artifact and a left hand artifact. Make that so. <laughs> I want to summon meteors to kill myself in one hand, and I want to have uh, clairvoyance in the other hand. Although I think clairvoyance you don't have to be wielding. <laughs> I think that one you just have to have it on you. 
Dual wielding has been rejected before, vehemently. Yeah, I've seen some of those <laughs> conversations. How is our battery level doing? 99, 99, 98, huh? That's fine. Oh, nested containers is fine. Jeez, you people. <laughs> One of the biggest changes ever made to the main game system touches damn near every corner of an already creaky, massive, bloated, Frankensteinian spaghetti monster of a game. <laughs> and everybody gets butthurt about the, uh, the inventory system taking a few months to sort out. <laughs> Settle down. Work around it. <clears throat> Go play uh, stable. Welcome to Experimental Builds. All right, there's nine. We're getting close. We might make it. What's the end game for this run look like? Whatever kills us. Strange Temple's not likely to kill us. <laughs> if we find one. Uh-oh, I've dropped another food level. You feel that you need to eat more calorie-dense food. Oh, man. We're underweight now? I think that means we're underweight. There we go. Electronics 10. All right, let's ditch some books. What's left? Fab? Fab and chemistry? Yeah, pretty much fab and chemistry. And a couple of points of cutting weapons. Why did I not level cutting weapons? Why? Why, why did I not level cutting weapons? And I ask again, how is a monoblade not have pierce? How? <laughs> How does that happen? <clears throat> Oops, eating dried beans, yummy. All right, food supply is way low now, so we need to, we, we definitely need to get moving, go get some food. Time is it? Uh, getting close to dark. We've got uh, full batteries. I think I still have my dome lights on, which is fine. So the vehicle is done, if I remember right, except for cargo space under our charger. I might just rip the charger out. I, I, I haven't used it a single time in like the last dozen of these Humvees that I've built. I don't know why I even bother leaving the thing in there. I guess because it doesn't hurt anything. I can still have the... Uh, cargo space in that location so it doesn't really hurt i just never use it never see a point um but yeah so one cargo space in that location and then if we get an autoclave which i think i passed one up already i might convert it into a vehicle mounted autoclave and then swap it in and out for my workstation i don't want to give it a dedicated spot because I, I i don't want to lose a cargo space for it and uh, i'd only use it and then rip it out and replace it with the workbench <laughs> so I don't use it that often. Okay. Plus, we would need to install, like, three more storage batteries. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, use it four or five times and my, all my power is gone. Anybody remember what it takes to repair the uh, the M60? Is it a gunsmith kit? I, I always forget. Ooh, I got damaged to one of my cargo spaces. I have to dismount it to repair it, and I think it's the gunsmith repair kit. Let's do a repair series here. That was it? Just the one part? Alright, fine. I guess I actually want to know, so let's unload the browning. And remove the browning. And 
which hit the ground, it hit the ground. Oh yeah, put the mono blade away. We're running. <laughs> that looks funny. That's funny looking. Oops. Got you in my sights. Okay, what's it going to take? It's not just the welder, if I remember right. I think it's the gunsmith repair kit. Yep, gunsmith or firearm repair kit. All right, I don't have one of those yet. So, let's put it back on. Install. And reload. I think we're all set. There was no food inside here. I'm not interested in uh, just getting chickens or something for minor meat. Let's go find something to eat. Bees? Nah, the bees are all mutant meat now, right? I think they are. I haven't checked them in a while. I forget. Do 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 do. The battle hummer. Is that crap I left? I don't think so. Cabin? Eh, maybe we might get a can of food or something from a cabin. Let's check that. Giant wasp where? Right on the other side of the cabin. Eh, we should be fine. Do, do, do. So many swings to kill that. AR-15, huh? Loaded, fully loaded AR-15. Hmm. Eh, not worried about that. What else we got? Crafty crafters, so awesome. I'm trying to remember. Modern Rifleman? I think I'm already level 3. Yeah, model rifleman's not going to help me any. It is rifle skill, right? Not like marksmanship. We'll take it anyway, just in case. What you got? Excellent sickle. Cheese spread. Ooh, take a long rope. bunch of junk. <laughs> it's all seasonings. Hmm. There's a lot of books in this place. I do need to keep an eye out for leather still. These don't seem to give much in the way of leather. We'll, we'll chop them up. One of them gives almost nothing. Thermal electric outfit. I think I already picked one up. We'll pick up another one. Hopefully I've got two now. Then I can wear two to go into deep freeze labs if we come across any. That would help anyway. Don't care about any of that. Don't need... Oops. Oh yeah. Uh, give me that. Butcher those. More piles of books. Man. Don't care. Don't care. And back holster. No, nothing interesting. All right. I don't need... Oh, Twitch go boom again. Yep, 
Yeah, twitch go boom, refresh your browsers. <clears throat> you didn't miss anything exciting. Let's remind myself where my storage capacity is. It's 125, 106, 110, and 88. Lots and lots of space. None of them anywhere near capacity. So do I have... I do have a thermoelectric outfit. Cool. So now we have two. All I need. So if you haven't seen a thermoelectric outfit, if you're new to the game, newish to the game, they're not a super common item. Um, right here it is. So thermoelectric outfit. I'll refit it so it's fitted. But this suit of thin thermal underwear covers you from head to toe and equipped with internal battery-powered heating elements. Use it to turn it on and note this section. It covers everything. Head, mouth, torso, arms, hands, legs, feet. Uh, what is that? Eyes is the only thing it's not covering. <laughs> so it's a full body jammies with uh, battery powered heaters. It's uh, medium batteries and it keeps you really warm. I think it's like, I can't remember for certain. I, I want to say 60 warmth when you turn it on. So it's 10 warmth non-powered, but then when you flip it on, it turns into the thermoelectric outfit on. And, um, yeah, right there. Thermoelectric outfit on. And the heat goes way, way up. I can't remember if it was 30 degrees or 60 degrees, but if you wear two of them, and uh, that's the limit. You're, you're limited to two of the exact same items, with some exceptions, like hiking backpacks. You only have one. But most clothing, you can wear two. Um, yeah, so it'll be really, really warm. So, if you're trying to do an ice lab or a deep freeze lab, uh, soldier winter gear, two of each, plus two each of the thermal electric outfits, will get you quite a ways into either one of those environments in fair comfort. So, you'll be pretty bulky, but um, you'll be warm. Okay, we're just rolling north and seeing if there's a connection to uh, the road networks and the cities up that way. We are limited on our gas because apparently there's a bug right now and I won't be able to refill the gas tank, so... <laughs> we're going to have to hope we get to somewhere semi-interesting before I zero out the gas. Leaveless Duster, Fedora, nothing interesting. That's a forest trail. I know we had I knew we had a river running north south down this way. Uh, there might be an opening here, there might not, and this might block me all the way. We might have to long trip back <laughs> to uh, find another route. Uh, I hope not. Let's check over here first. Little Dermatix. Oh, well. Looky there. Mego Scout Tower. No particular reason to go mess with the Mego Scout Tower right now. We're still in the power up stage. Rex. No flaming eye. No artifact on the ground. Mm -hmm. So we can get to that road network. To a roadblock. This is. Eh, we might get some food in this farmhouse. Oops. Let's see if there's anything cool on the bridge. Any vehicles? One regular vehicle and a limo. Uh, there's all the leather I need. That'll keep me in leather for a while. Assuming the deadly beavers don't hop out of the river and gnaw me to death.
No thanks. And ooh, cucumber sandwich, some meat turkey. We'll just drink the fruit juice right out of the. All right, we are turgid. Okay, so if you need leather, this is one of the sources. Luxury vehicles have uh, leather seats, so leather seats. Other vehicles have just standard cloth fabric seats. Um, when it just says seat, that's just going to give you cloth if you try to take it apart. But luxury vehicles like tour buses, limousines, sports cars, things like that. If you've got the skill and the tools, which doesn't take a lot, but... Um, you can go ahead and uh, remove the belts and the leather seat. I'm going to take the time to do this because it's going to keep me from having to hunt around for leather constantly for repairs to my, uh, my hiking backpack. It's always a pain in my ass. All right, that's it. Now we have to put away our monoblade. Come here, leather seat. Uh... Okay, what do we got? 57 leather patches. Not bad. That's three or four repairs. Um... We'll take the rags and the thread. Don't care about the rest. And we'll take that one too. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, I hadn't finished reading that book yet. <laughs> you put your leather in the Humvee's cargo space. Four hours later, you finish putting leather into the Humvee's cargo space. Well, now it's dark. We're not going to be able to unveil much, but uh, at least we know for certain we have access to this road network. we got a few uh, endpoints on the way to the town. Small town to drive through the middle of. Wouldn't be a problem. After that, we've got a crazy medley of roads and leading us down to Preston with... Uh, Four gun stores, a hunting supply store, one pharmacy. Eh, not bad. Might have a recycling center. No direct connection, so I gotta pray there's not a river going right through here. <laughs> that would suck. It's kind of looking like there might be, given that divide between all the other roads. Yep, there's a... Uh, that would be this river up here. Going across that spot. So, may or may not be. Otherwise, looks like we got a pretty good chance of connecting up to this road network as well. And this town looks pretty good as well. I'm probably going to go this way first. Yeah, we'll probably go this way first. So, let's back up to the farm. It's another uh, another winery, so there's going to be zombies, which is fine. Let's go kill some zombies. All right, so monoblade on. Let's just drop our backpack here and see what our fighting. We're at eight point seven dodge in our current gear, and our current gear consists of um, flame resistant suit, light survivor suit, and an army helmet. With knee pads and elbow pads. That's that's pretty much it. So let's see how we do. Mono blade and dodge. And we are currently running Wing Chun. Do, do, do. Don't care. Come on. Come on. 
the window. Hey, oops. I'm over here. That push maneuver. How does that work in reference to difficult terrain? I'm curious. This is a real question. How does... Not receive encounter, not faint. Is it L hook knockback? Must be L hook knockback. So we'll follow enemies after knockback. So does this cost points? Is it irrelevant of terrain? Meaning, the reason I ask is because this is normally rough terrain. To move on to that is 400 or 200 movement cost. So, I mean, standard ground is 100. That's 200. So is it irrelevant of movement cost? If it is actually costing me something, I'm going to have an issue. <laughs> if it's free, I'm not sure I could manage to put that into use in some effective way, but um, I would think it would have to be irrelevant. I, I imagine it can't cost anything, but um, just kind of curious. Those kinds of things occur to me. <laughs> hmm, don't care about any of this stuff. Nope. Come on, zombies. I'm pulping your buds. Fine. Whoa, Hunter. All right. You I do have to be a little more careful about. Yeah, I am not going to get used to that. <laughs> that follow-up move. All right, let's, uh, let's put the goggles on. Oh, man, my goggles are out of charge. Did I leave them running when I dropped them, or did they get broke through uh, build updates? Not even mentioning that they have any any uh, battery. Uh, I'm gonna be kind of mad if my goggles got broke again. Let's go find out. I want to know the answer to that more than I want to kill these zombies. Reload goggles. You reload the goggles. Activate goggles. All right, all is right with the world. I don't know how I managed to. I have no batteries in my gun. That was kind of weird. Cashews. See, that's just a ridiculous amount of missing. I mean, come on. <laughs> really? I mean, yeah, my cut weapon. I, I need to go finish that book. <laughs> but still. Melee 3, unarmed 4, using Wing Chun, and I can't hit. A little ankle biter? Ridiculous. I want to know who sent all the zombie children to ninja school. <laughs> why, why did all the zombie children get ninja certificates when they died? It's a whole mess of I don't care. Leather touring suit, but too damaged, and I'd have to clean it. Got that yucky stuff all over it. Nope, not seen anything. Alright, that should be about it. I don't usually see much more than that quantity of zombies in this location. Hey, let's take a talking doll. I haven't freaked uh, anything out with a talking doll forever. Ooh, leather backpack. Not for the backpack portion, but for the leather portion. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have my hiking backpack on. Well, maybe we'll remember that, maybe we won't. Let's just make sure it's clear. Anybody back here? Anybody? No shovel, sandpaper. I know sandpaper is new. Nope, nothing I care about. <clears throat> Don't need any of the wine either. Eh, place is clear. Gimme. Ooh, 
Fried salad. Yeah, we'll just eat a tray. What you got for me? Uh, spam. Cornbread's good. Like a noodle. Leather pants. Now well, we've pretty much solved my leather problem for a while now. <laughs> Now I feel pretty comfortable about my leather supply. <laughs> well, there's the classic demonstration. So I mention this fairly often. For new players, <laughs> always make sure you step into bathtubs so that you are directly adjacent to all the spaces of the bathtub. Why? Because <laughs> of this. <laughs> That's a great example right there. Because apparently bathtubs are containers, and you can't see into them unless you are directly adjacent. Multivitamins, gummy vitamins, nothing I care... Oh, wait, saline. Saline I care about. I don't care about the rest. But, yeah, there you go. Uh, oops. Almost left it behind. 